Hello everyone and welcome to the New World Crafting Guide. Now this video was actually requested by Suicide Wings, so Suicide Wings man, I really hope you enjoy this video. Now as I mentioned in the review that I posted on Friday, the game does have a player based economy which means that everything that you can buy, there are no item shops, there is just a trading post that you buy items at your own leisure. I've probably made about $800 in the game so far, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you don't really make that much selling resources, so that kind of makes sense. The game has five gathering skills apart from general looting, and they are fishing, harvesting, logging, mining, and skinning. Once you've gathered those resources, you need to be able to refine them, in which case there are smelting for iron, stone cutting for stone, tanning for leather, weaving for all kinds of fibers that you'll find, and woodworking for any of the wood that you'll chop down. And then finally, before we get into specifics, I also want to talk about the crafting skills you have, because they are armoring, arcana, cooking, engineering, furnishing, jewel crafting, and weapon. To gather the required resource that isn't dropped by an enemy, you're going to either need a fishing pool for fishing, a sickle for harvesting, a logging axe for logging, a pickaxe for mining, and a skinning knife for skinning. Every skill that I've mentioned so far between crafting, refining, and gathering needs to be leveled by itself for you to be able to access either the higher tier items or be able to craft the higher tier items that are available in the world. For instance, the rarer materials for mining or logging, you need to actually have a higher skill level so you can actually properly gather them. To me it makes no sense, but I don't control the game itself, so please bear that in mind. Now on your map you'll find multiple refining and crafting stations in the game. They kind of go together depending on what the resource is that you're building, but for example there's like a blacksmith for blacksmithing, there's, and you can do the armor crafting at the blacksmithing station too. They kind of rope together, but I do want to talk a bit more about the crafting in and of itself, so let's go ahead and dive into that because that's the real bread and butter of this game. In terms of actually crafting weapons, that does kind of break down into two sections of the actual crafting menu itself. On the left, you'll have all the required materials, like the iron or the wood or whatever it is that you actually need to be crafting that item, that's what you will need to actually make the item itself with no major enhancements. The right side, however, is where the real fun begins because you can gather items from enemies and looting and just stuff in general while you're gathering that will allow you to enhance either a skill or an attribute that your character has on them which in and of itself does increase the attributes that you yourself will have while that item is equipped, which will help you out in the long run, depending on what kind of build you're going for. Now, a word of warning, if you're going to go ahead and try and craft 20 iron swords, one thing you should know is that unlike the other crafting or refining where you can refine 80,000 items and it'll just be done instantly, they will actually craft weapons one by one. I made this mistake crafting and trying to craft 71 wood swords, hoping it would increase my skill. However, it did not, and I was just waiting for a minute and a half while I heard the incessant crafting sound over and over again. Now, as I mentioned in the review, the game does have a player-based economy, and by that I mean you won't be able to go to a weapon shop and buy a better weapon or buy resources. It is all done through a trading post in this game, and I was going to do a, a separate video for the trading post, but there isn't too much. I mean, it breaks down into either buying items or selling items, and selling items, you set your prices, and you can see what the other items are being sold for, and the sort of try and match or lower your price compared to that. That's really all there is to it. Now, I will go into the actual furnishing crafting in a later video once I've actually bought a house and need to start furnishing it myself. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and checking out the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're new, hit that sub button if you like the content that you see and you want to see more. And let me know what you want to see done next in the comments below. Take care, guys.